Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video for you all and as you can see, I'm in a new setup and I am in my new dorm. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you knew that I had, I shared a room with another girl but I was on the waiting list for a single room. So I finally have my single room now so I can film and do all types of stuff for YouTube finally without having to bother my roommate. So I'm super excited and I finally got my camera back from home. So today is going to be my first video filming in my dorms. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a website, uh, personalplanner.com. With this website, you can personalize a planner to your liking. You can personalize the cover, the elastic band, the layout, and all that good stuff. Um, if you guys have been following me on YouTube for a long time, I have a previous video on a planner from their website that I showed in a whole overview of. So I'll link that down below if you guys are interested in watching that. But in this video, I'll be showing pretty much the same thing, just um, the types of things that you can do using personalplanner.com. And this is my planner. I think it's just so beautiful. So yeah, if you guys are interested in kind of going through my planner and just how personalplanner.com works, then definitely just keep watching. So this is what my planner looks like. It comes with an elastic band and then you can choose the color of your choice along with a um, empty little pocket here that opens up from the top. And you just go ahead and snap that right into your planner. It also comes with a ruler which you can choose the color of your choice as well, but I don't have the ruler with me. I just chose a clear ruler, but in this video, I will definitely go into more detail of um, how to choose the different types of colors. Alright, so the first step about creating a planner is you're going to have to select your size of the planner that you want. Um, per personal planners, they have four different sizes. They have a mini, a square, a wide, and an A5. Mine is the A5 and it is the biggest. It is about 5.8 inches um, from 8.1 inches. Once you've selected the size of your planner, you can then go ahead and start to personalize the cover. You can go ahead and choose any of their patterns that they already have on the website. So they did come up with some new designs that you can go ahead and choose if you guys are interested or just some patterns. And you can also put your name or the date or anything on the cover, um, just depending on how you choose to personalize it. Or if you're like me and you want to design the whole thing um, by yourself and just kind of make your own design and just take that picture and put it right in the front, you can go ahead and do that as well. So you have that option and you can do that for both the front and the back covers. Along with the covers, you can choose to um, decide when you want your planner to start. So I decided to have it start, um, I think, August 24th because I um, knew I wasn't going to receive it until then. Along with that, you can go ahead and also choose the color of the elastic band. So I just chose white because, again, I just really like a clean look. So you can have white, gray, red, green, blue. There's all types of different types of colors that you can choose from for your elastic band. All right, next you can go ahead and choose your layout that you want. Um, for my planner, I chose the vertical layout and this is just what it looks like. For your layouts, you can choose to have it lined or striped or anything like that. Uh, I just decided to leave it blank so that I can personalize it more to how I want it to be without having the lines or anything in the way, but it's definitely up to your choice. Um, and then you can also choose to do a timetable which just um, puts each hour and then you can just go ahead and um, schedule that way. Um, another cool thing is that you can have little details at the corners. For instance, you can do um, put the weather or put that you need to go to work or what hours you need to work. Along with having a workout box, you can have the option of making it a little bit smaller or having the bigger option. Um, along with that, you can go ahead and choose to um, choose a, des a design theme. For me, I just chose really simple pink. Or there's a couple different types of designs as well. If you can go, if you go ahead and just look on their website, there's quite a um, different types of themes for the spread. Another really awesome thing about Personal Planner is that you can definitely go ahead and personalize the bottoms under here. Again, for me, I just kept them empty. They have a module one, two, and three, and they're pretty much all the same. You can go ahead and choose different modules for each of them. So they have modules such as workouts. Um, to-do lists, dinners, DIYs, ideas, and you can choose um, them to be all the same or you can have them all be different. But And then so this is just pretty much what my um, layout looks like. Again, I have the vertical layouts and this is what the monthly layout looks like. It's pretty simple. Here's more of a up close um, look at it. The boxes are 
um, very empty and you can choose to have the like holidays listed or not I just chose to have them listed and then you get some um, lines here on the side to take a little bit of notes but the personalization doesn't end there at the end of the planner you can choose to have an overview of the year or you can choose to do squared or ruled paper blank pages for me I just chose to do a couple pages of ruled paper and you get eight pages of that all right, next, and you can get to um, personalize if you want to put some Sudoku puzzles, um, coloring pages, um, again, blank pages, whatever. I just chose to do a little bit of coloring book because I thought that would be fun. For my last year planner, I chose to do Sudoku, and I just wanted to try something different. And then after that, you again get the options of adding more pages. This is 40 pages, and you can do, again, ruled. Um, or blank pages or you can do some special teacher inserts which are great for teachers but again I just chose to do ruled papers because I thought that would be most beneficial for me and so yeah this is pretty much the overview of the personal planners I hope you guys really enjoyed it and got a lot of information out of this video if you guys are interested definitely go ahead and check out the website to learn more in depth of all the features of this website so I will link that down below 